For more than 70 years, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Miami-Dade have been a second home to kids from low-income families. More than a safe haven, they offer programs that help set these kids up for success while giving back to the community at the same time. Here to share more about their impact and their summer programs is Alex rodriguez Roy, president of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Miami-Dade. Alex, great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we're headed into summer months here. We're, yes. we're, we're, you know what, we're here. we're here. We're not headed, we're here. So tell us about the summer camps and how that's going at uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs. Well, I mean, summer camps, it's, it's, a, it's a great time of year. It's very exciting. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we have kids all over the place. You know, kids are not in school, so they got to be somewhere. Yeah. So our, our concept is simple. Provide a affordable, uh, safe, uh, and quality program for these kids. And uh, that's what we do. We're open from 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So 10 hours, the kids are there at the club sometimes. Uh, so it's a great it's a great thing. We have 1,500 kids. We have five different locations. But it's all about the experience during the summer. Yeah. Our, our programs are about experiences, giving kids these opportunities that they normally don't have during the rest of the year. And we're looking at some great pictures. They get to go and watch dance performances, or they get to learn dance themselves. They get to go bowling. They go skating, right? They just get out in the community and, and get to learn some different skills and have fun, right? Absolutely. They go to the yeah. beach. They, they yeah. go to the pool. They, uh, they go to the Everglades on airboat rides. All this, you know, nice. The idea is to have just an experience that you normally don't get a chance to do. And these are the, the opportunities and moments we have that we take these kids for those. Tell me about the ages when we talk about Boys sure. and Girls Club. What are the ages of sure. the kids? Uh, we start kindergarten, five years old, all okay. the way up to high school. We have a teen program at each one of the facilities, which oh, is nice. very specific to the teens. That's a tough crowd because, you know, teenagers in high school, they just want to hang out on the couch <laughs> yeah, and do nothing, right? right? Uh, but if you have a creative program, they will come and they'll have a great time. And that's what they do. We have tons of teens in there. You mentioned swimming. You are partnered with the Zach Foundation, yes. which teaches children and parents to swim safety and pool safety. Tell us more about that. Yes, I mean, obviously we live in South Florida. We're surrounded by water. Um, and now with all the rain, there's puddles everywhere. I mean, but there's water everywhere and we yeah. need to uh, be conscious of that. And here's an opportunity that with the Zach Foundation, we're able to uh, teach kids how to swim. Uh, basic swimming so that if they do, God forbid, come out into that situation where they fall in the water somewhere in their nature, they at least have a chance to swim out and, and be fine. It's so timely too with the sad mm -hmm. story of yeah. Bodie Miller, who's the Olympic skier, mm -hmm. whose 19 month old baby girl drowned. It's yeah. just so tragic. And we know that kids, as little as she was, can learn to swim, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I mean, kids as little as less than a year old can uh, actually learn to uh, what they call survival swimming, which means they keep their head up and get to the wall. So, yes, absolutely. I mean, those type of things are extremely important in the, in, in the town we live in here. So tell us a little bit more about the Boys and Girls Clubs <coughs> in general. You're open year-round, mm -hmm. so kids would typically go to school and then head on over. How does it work during the school the year? The easiest way is to, to think about it is whenever school's closed, we're open. Oh, okay. When they're not in school, that means the Boys and Girls Club is open, and that's pretty much how it works. Uh, during the school year, obviously, we open up in the afternoons at 2 o'clock, and that's a little bit more, it's, it's a lot more education. We have homework assistance, computer, arts, social skills, literacy, sports, fitness. The idea is to provide as many different opportunities for kids as possible. Many times I use an analogy like, like an ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. We go to the ice cream shop because you might like pistachio, I might like chocolate, somebody else <laughs> likes vanilla, right? <laughs> uh, well, there's going to be a flavor we like, and the club's the same way. There's going to be a flavor or a program that entices us to say, you know what, I'm interested in this, this is getting me motivated. Yeah. And that's what we want to do, keep kids motivated to learn. I love that, a flavor that entices everybody's yes. individual taste. <laughs> you know, I pulled up some statistics related to the Boys and Girls Clubs, and there are some things here you have to really, really be proud of. For example, it said, impact of better education through higher high school graduation rates and improved lifetime earnings among youth who attend the clubs on a regular basis, 93.7%. Yes. That's a huge testament to the work you're doing there. It, it is. It's a testament to the work that every uh, staff that we have at the clubs that are doing there, it's just amazing the work we do, not only our board of directors, but our staff that do an amazing job. Those numbers are, are, are amazing. The, the, the interesting impact on those numbers is it's all about the kid, mm -hmm. and it's all about how can we make their life and their family's life give them a, if they're here how can we take them to the next level yeah. whatever it may be so it's about providing those opportunities how can people in the community help support boys and girls clubs well the easiest way to write a check right <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> let me get my check right yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or even better credit card right? so, oh there we uh, go no I, I, there's many ways one is obviously financial because it takes a lot of resources sure. financial resources to keep the organization running uh with five different you know facilities and eight thousand kids throughout there so it takes, it takes a lot but there's also another side we also rely on our on volunteers but many of our most of our sports programs are our volunteers uh, driven mm. um, so we definitely need coaches out there and even within our educational programs we always take volunteers in that will help us with the kids uh, with, their, with a specific reading program sure. or, or whatnot or special projects 
Mm. The one thing I always mention is during the summer, we don't take as many volunteers because it's hard for folks to volunteer and the kids are there every day. So we do have a lot of staff, mm -hmm. but we always find volunteers that have a specific thing that they want like to a do. Niche. A yeah. niche. A niche. You know, they want to talk about broadcasting or they want to come <laughs> and talk to the king, all those type of things. Are you recruiting me? Uh, no, a little bit. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of what we, what we yeah. always look for. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Best of luck with everything this summer. Thank you. And continued success at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Miami-Dade. For more information on the club, you can visit BGC. Miami.org. As always, we'll have this information on our Facebook page at yourself, FL.